Okay, uh, this weekend I'm doing a, another pork butt. Um, I'm at the three hour mark. This is the third one I've done here on the uh, the Bronco since I got it. Uh, you notice I am using the Inkbird uh, fan system and that thing just completely rocks. It's amazing how steady it keeps the temperature. Um, I'll also be adding to this video um, a screenshot of the actual app and uh, and show how that, you know, show you the features and show you kind of the long there's a graph in there where it shows the uh, the temperature of the entire cook. So some some really good features. I highly recommend that thing. I would say it's the closest you can get to having a, a set and forget um, type of, uh, you know, system with the smoker, similar to pellet grill. So I'm at the three hour mark. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and um, hit it with some, uh, start hitting it with some apple juice every 30 minutes um, until it comes up to temp before I wrap it. Oh, fogged up the camera lens. There we go. Good. Sides here. Apologize if I'm not steady. I don't have a fancy camera rig or anything. I'm just holding my phone in my hand. Looks good. Looks like we still got plenty of water. Put two full pitchers of water in the pan this time. You see it down below. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and button that back up. And then uh, the uh, this also comes with a, um, a wireless uh, app or a wireless connection. So I've got it connected to my phone inside, so I can monitor the cook. I can change the settings inside. Um, so now I'm going to sit there. There's also a timer on. I'm going to set that for 30 minutes and start coming out at, um, every 30 minutes and uh, hitting that with the apple cider vinegar and water until it comes up to temp uh, for wrapping. Um, then I'll be wrapping her up and, uh, and finishing off at that point. All right. Talk to you then. Okay, I'm back here out at the Bronco. Uh, it's been a half an hour since I last opened it up. Um, the initial, I wanted to open up initially at three hours. I, I goofed and didn't set the timer, the meat timer initially for three hours. So I think I ran a little long on that first three hours. So I'm actually, uh, the app is, uh, showing 163. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this thing and see if how the, I'm not so concerned about the, the internal temp as I am, how the bark is. Um, if the bark is looking good, then I'm going to go ahead and pull it, uh, and then uh, wrap it in foil and get it back on here. But, um, let's go ahead and have a look here real quick. This is probably just shy, about three, three and a half hours. Like I said, I want to check, getting pretty good bark on there. I think I may let it go just a little bit longer. And it was some more water, water pans looking good, plenty left there. I think I'm going to let this go maybe another, another 15 minutes, half hour. And then, uh, then pull it and wrap it and, and get it back on here. All right, we'll see you the next one. Okay, we're back out here. Um, you can see the uh, internal temp on the on the butt has hit 200. I um, had the timer set inside to let me know. Uh, Spoker's holding steady, right in the right in the range of 275. Cook has been about um, well six and a half hours since I started this morning, but that's not the actual cook time on on the butt. So anyway, we're going to give it a look, uh, test for uh, tender tenderness at this point, and uh, if uh, it looks good, then we'll go ahead and, and pull it and uh, let it rest. Well, that feels pretty darn tender. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Uh, so I'm going to pull this, uh, let it rest for probably a couple hours, then I'll pick it back up uh, once we start shredding it. Okay, uh, we actually didn't um, we didn't get the camera out as we were um, as we were unwrapping the the pork butt and, and shredding and everything. So I just thought I'd go ahead and include an image of of the finished product here on the tray. Um, super moist. You can, obviously you can see all the the great color in the meat from the smoke. Um, just an amazing smoke flavor to the meat. Again, I, I came from a, using a, a high-end pellet grill for many years, since about 2013. And I thought I was getting smoked food until I got the Bronco. And the first time I ever cooked anything on the Bronco uh, was chicken legs. And I was amazed at the, the smoke flavor and the juiciness and tenderness of the meat. So, I mean, I am totally sold on, on this, on the Oklahoma Joe, you know, smokers, the Bronco. But anyway, at any rate, after this uh, image here shortly, I'm going to go into a more longer um, overview on my computer and show you the screen 
of my mobile phone and how that how the um, the ink burn fan and the application works on on a mobile phone so stay tuned for that it'll be coming up here in just a second okay this is greg again um yeah i had to, had to figure out a way to be able to cast my uh, my mobile phone on my android onto my computer here so i could record this for you guys uh, but basically this is the setup um of the uh the the inkbird uh, pro that has the fan system and everything and this is um i had to record this while it's still running because once you once you turn it off here in the settings or you unplug it you lose all the data from the cook so I just, you can see, well, you can see I just took the um, the pork butt off the smoker. The probe is out of it, so it's only reading 66. It was just over, it had just gotten to 200. Um, I went ahead and probe tested it. It was very tender, so I pulled it. Now it's resting, but I wanted to go ahead and record this while while it's still uh, while it's still connected so you can see how it works. Um, now this is the wireless data. The the unit connects to your, your phone through the through their app. Um, you've got your settings here. I didn't do a whole lot with this, but mainly to set up your cook, you come into this little setting box here. You select the uh, the type of grill or smoker that you have. Um, I went with the Weber 18-inch uh, because that was the closest thing to our Bronco that uh, that's in here. I set the temp for 275 uh, just in case it ever spiked. I didn't ever want it to get past 300, but it never did. That was never an issue. Um, you can see it's set for barbecue, not manual fan. Um, and then down here, this is the setting. This is the, so this, this probe, it's a small probe that connects to the, the grill grate. And I'm, and I just have that setting. I've got it clipped in right at the, right at the grill grate, the same, you know, the same location that I'm smoking the butt on. Um, and then down here, this is the second probe that I had put, you know, plugged in or, or pushed into the, uh, the pork butt. And I was able to, what I didn't know at first, I should have used this timer uh, when I, the initial three hours that, that I let it cook before I check it the first time, I could have set that three hour timer here, but I didn't. Uh, so what I did after I, I just guesstimated three hours and I started setting this for every, for 30 minutes, you can see you can rotate the time in here. But I, I set it for 30 minutes and then I was uh, spraying uh, a 50-50 mix of apple cider vinegar and water and you set timer and you see now it starts counting down. So you can also run this timer, you know, during the cook to, you know, keep your targets for when you want to, uh, you know, spritz the spritz the pork butt or, you know, whatever you want to do. So you've got that timer here. You can also set the, the highest temp warning here. I had it at 200, so the alarm went off at 200 when it hit 200. Um, the cool thing is, though, that I, that I really wanted to show you, you can see it's turned on here, and you see the temp is right now at 276. This little graph here, it shows the entire cook from the time that you start uh, to the time that you finish. And if you scroll all the way to the left here, I'm sure there might be there might be an easier way to do that. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the left. I guess maybe. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, I thought maybe I lost it. So anyway, uh, let's scroll all the way to the, left, to the left here, and I'll show you how this thing ran the whole cook. So you can see right here, it's the initial um, just getting ready to cook. Uh, started the fan, was kind of waiting for the the grill to stabilize. Put the pork butt in here. Of course, temp took a dive. Then it went back up, and you can see right here. And you can click on this at any point in here to see the temperature. But you can see, you know, 277 or 275, 276. It just always stays within just a few degrees. And this is good. And this is the first three hours. It's just you can see how just rock steady that fan works to keep the temp where you want it to be. A little spike there. Let's see, it got up to. 278 little spike there but the rest of the time you know it's just always in that same range 275 276 and then uh here's the there's the three hours when i opened it up and and um and hit it with the spray the first time and you see it'll 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 dip down and then right back up and then right back to holding temp another open to spray it uh, right there and then this uh trying to think oh okay yeah this i sprayed it and uh, right here it had gotten to about 163 and the bark was looking good so i went ahead and pulled it and wrapped it right here um, then put it back on and then pretty much ran it until it hit the temp of 200 again you just see how steady it is uh and right here's where i pulled it off right here you see a little dip and it's still still going right now i'll shut it off here shortly obviously i want to save any um coals I have, that i've left but yeah the thing just rock steady man it, it works great it's easy I mean, you just, um, you know, you initially light your coals. Once once you get a fire burning, shut the lid 
uh, turn the fan on, set your target temp, and it just goes to work. Um, let me go ahead and back up. You can also you can see the speed right now is at 100. This this is the fan speed. This will vary as the cook goes on. You can watch it go up and down. Uh, but it, but um, it's great because you can keep this with you. I was inside watching the baseball game um, and just you know didn't have to worry about what was going on. I could monitor everything from here. I had target set so that even if I wasn't paying attention, you know this the alarm would go off and let me know if hey you're at, you know you're at your target temp for meat or you know you've exceeded your 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 target temperature in the smoker but again never had to worry about it the thing was just rock steady you know once you set it up and, and uh, plug it in you know just never uh like i said never had to worry the thing was just steady as a rock all the way through so it's really i think it's really as close as you can get to be, you know something like a pellet smoker which i'm coming from where you you know you set it and forget it it really is just that simple on a long smoke i think this one went Oh, would this go about? This one went a little faster today. I mean, just about seven hours, um, and I would say maybe oh, 20 minutes of that was was you know 20, 30 minutes was bringing it up to temp. You know, so a little little about six and a half hours on this cook. It's pretty small pork butt, about seven pounds, and I also trimmed the fat off the top. The uh, the last one I did, I I lost most of the the crust because that top that top fat fat cap just kind of came apart or, or slid off the rest of the. The button I lost all that crust on the top, so this time I trimmed this one down quite a bit. Uh, so we'll see how see how it goes. This is my third one. I'm by no means any kind of expert at all. I'm learning probably just like a lot of you are out there. Uh, but this um, you know this Inkbird um, fan has really made you know made the longer cooks really easy to to maintain and you know and help you out, especially if you're busy and you got things to do on the weekend. So okay, uh, if you guys have any questions, um, oh, and one thing I wanted to check. Check Amazon real quick. There at the time I bought mine, there was I think it was either it was either a twenty or thirty dollar discount. Let me see what I was gonna have this open ahead of time. Let's see temperature controller. I did have this one originally, the first four, but I, I sent that one back once I got the one with the fan. Ah, of course it's not coming up. Let's try Wi-Fi. A lot of other ones. There we go, right here. Okay, so yeah, it's up one ninety nine. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, see right here, save an extra thirty percent. So when you click that, that'll knock uh, you know two hundred bucks. That'll knock sixty bucks off the price if I'm calculating that right. Thirty percent. Um, so thirty percent of a hundred is thirty bucks. So yeah, that'll knock um, sixty bucks off the price. So. Uh, I'll put the link in there along with the video. Let me get this out of the way here. So I'll, I'll put the link in there along with this, uh, so you guys can check it out. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. Sort of like I sort of feel like I'm cheating, but but at the same time, I think it's a great way to you know to to run long smokes without having to worry. So I hope that helps somebody out there. Thanks.